Welcome to the July 7th, 2020 version of the Day Weather Podcast. The heat is on, folks. We're going to sizzle here, not only for another day today, but for many days in a row. Through the weekend and early next week, very warm to hot conditions will be found. Now, afternoon and evening thunderstorms will be around again today, and to some extent Wednesday, mainly east of the divide, mainly eastern Wyoming, eastern Montana, western South Dakota, western Nebraska, and eastern Colorado, west of the divide, really not much of anything. Fire danger is going to be increasing through early next week. Really need to be careful. Historically, folks, late June and early July is a critical time in forest fire activity in the Rocky Mountain West because we're at the, the that point between seasons. As we get through that cooler, wet spring season and we get into the hotter, drier summer season, late June and early July, we're in between those patterns and we are waiting for the monsoon moisture to come up from the south to give us those better rain producing thunderstorms and showers we tend to see during late July and into early August. So late June into early July does historically tend to be a hotter, drier pattern. That's why a lot of fires get started late June and early July around here. The monsoon, is it coming? We'll talk about that here in a moment. Here's the upper level pattern right now. We have a little bit of a trough and a cool front that's in the Pacific Northwest right now that is going to head eastward. This is going to send slightly cooler air, and I mean just slightly cooler air, into the region for Wednesday and Thursday. But you can see we got high pressure ridge over West Texas and New Mexico pumping in some hot desert air into this region right here for today. But as the system heads this way, it'll cool off temperatures ever so slightly Wednesday and Thursday. But by Friday, this high pressure dome goes west. And this is important because where this high pressure ridge is really dictates where the moisture goes. When we get high pressure centered over New Mexico, Arizona, the clockwise flow is taking the better subtropical moisture out and then in, really not a direct path. Some moisture, but it's not a great moisture flow into the Rockies and High Plains. So we're gonna get hot and drier in this area here as we get on into Friday and the weekend. By Monday, notice this, we go right here. This is Monday, this is Saturday. Notice the high pressure ridge is in the same spot and the high pressure ridge even expands more. The heat builds up even more. So high pressure is here on Monday and it's here on Friday. Now notice what happens as we get to the second half of next week. This is Thursday. Notice the high pressure ridge, the high pressure center is more east. Then we start to see the subtropical moisture come back in. So this high pressure folks, is like a door. It opens and closes the subtropical moisture. When the high is here, we are drier. The subtropical moisture can't come in. As the high migrates east and gets into here, well, the door opens to the moisture and it comes back on in. So what we're going to have is a hot, drier stretch of weather Thursday through probably, well, probably Tuesday of next week, maybe Wednesday. Then the door opens up and the second half of next week and next weekend, we'll see an uptick in the monsoon moisture flow and a better chance for showers and thunderstorms. And to highlight that, this is that precipitable water chart we've shown you before. The, blue, the brown and the red and the gray here showing really, really dry air. The blue and the green shows where the air is more moist. So you can see why there's gonna be thunderstorms in this part of the region right here today because there is moisture available. But west of the divide, there's just nothing. As we go forward, by the end of next week, this is by next Thursday and Friday, notice that deep dryness goes away and we have white and green. The white means average and the green above average is along with the blue. So what'll happen here, folks, this arch of moisture comes in and the thunderstorms and the showers during the second half of next week will, can, will increase where we really need it here and again across portions of the high plains here and here where we really need it. But to get to that point, we've got to get through some hot, dry weather for probably a good solid week. Taking a look at the 10 day precipitation chances, you see that over old Mexico here into the desert Southwest, 
we do start to see that moisture come back in late next week and then it arches around that high and heads into the corn belt to make the corn grow. Thanks for watching and listening to the Day Weather Podcast. Have a good day. We'll see you Wednesday.